The bill meant to ensure de-radicalization of repentant Boko Haram militants and other insurgents has been trailed by mixed reactions from Nigerians. The bill, sponsored by the all-progressive Congress member representing Yobe East Senatorial District and former governor of Yobe State, Senator Ibrahim Gaydam, passed the first reading on Thursday. But a few hours after it passed the first reading, the bill attracted mixed reactions within the Chibok community, which was attacked by the insurgents in 2014. While it is being condemned by Christian Association of Nigeria, can it was, however, supported by the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs. Khan's director of legal and public affairs in an interview said he was not aware of any nation that has successfully undertaken the project of de-radicalizing, rehabilitating and empowering terrorists. He stated, we shall be ready for them at a public hearing on such bills. If the federal government is not having an ulterior motive of rewarding terrorism through the bill, as most Nigerians believe, he suggested the federal government instead would have put a bill in place that will provide adequate relief materials for victims of terrorism and concrete measures proposed for adequate compensation for them as well.